Good morning. It's almost the end of another year. Today is the first day of celebration of Kwanzaa. Yesterday, I had a couple of visitors who visit me. It was a pretty good day in all. But the reason I'm uh, making this little video today is when I think back in my 60-something years, I've had people tell me or I heard, overheard people say they don't like my voice. What's that all about? I don't know. A lot of people just don't like me. They don't even know me, but they don't like me. So I've had elders tell me that's not that they don't like you. It's your spirit. Uh, where light prevails, falsehood must flee. And I've also had elders tell me that there are always going to be people that try to come up against the light. Try to out-talk them, try to outdo them, uh, even mimic and try to be them without even the consciousness of knowing that they're doing that. But I've never been accused by anyone but one person in my entire life that every time they get a chance, they tell me I talk too much. Even if I sit down and listen to everything they have to say and don't say a word for half an hour plus, but I talk too much. It's not that I talk too much. It's that when I do speak, I usually speak of things that's relevant. People to me, this is my ideology and from what I learned, that talks too much are those that talk about useless things or things that has no substance or no direct bearing on real truth. You know, there's the absolute. We talked about this before in the 80s and 90s about the absolute. There's truth and then it's the absolute truth. What gets me is when people try to throw things back in your face but get it wrong or didn't have the true understanding of what you were saying. So they turn it and twist it to fit their own ways of understanding or their own ideology. A lot of people fall for propaganda. Sublimably, that's what the system of the beast does. It puts out propaganda. It has its soldiers, its, its warriors, and propaganda feeds propaganda. So you have so many innocent souls and people in the world that fall prey to propaganda. They don't research to really find out that it's the truth. And not only just the plain truth, but it don't even be the absolute truth. And they just pass it on to the next person. And if the next person is gullible or their spirit is not strong in the dominion of the elders and God or the absolute creator, then they'll fall prey for the same thing. You have those that say they believe and they know, but they not know us. This be know us, the elders say. They don't know. Because they're not dealing with absolute truth. They bog their minds down in trivial stuff of the world of man. You can't live in two worlds. We'll use a, a quote from Brother S.R. Joshua Ben Joseph. I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. You can't 
live mentally and spiritually in the world of man and claim you are of the higher realm or the realm of God. It just don't work. You can't let part of it go. You have to let it all go. You can't allow the enemy uh, or the negative forces to come into your surroundings and your being and whisper. And what really gets to me is when people claim that they're over something, but they harp on it for years and years and years and hold it in their spirit for 20, 30, 40 years. And then they bring that garbage, I call it garbage, to other people and dump it on them. Grow up, people. It doesn't matter how old you are in the physical body. It's how old you are in the spiritual realm. You can't get from A to B to C to D if you still stuck between A and B. You think you're moving, but you're not moving at all because you're stuck in yesterday, yesteryear, as the elders say. How can you go forward if you're stuck, constantly reliving the past, trying to catch people, other people up in your, as the elders taught me, illusions, delusions. And all you can do Some people, all they can do is think that they're what they're not. The elders, the absolute creators, have no respect of a person. There's no big eyes and little U's in the house of the creator. We all are on a living plane. But to get on that even plane, you have to get there first. You can't get there living in the past or falling prey to the world of man propaganda. I mean, can you imagine somebody writing a book to tell you that you are crippled? Let's say you were born into this particular realm, world, with no legs. So it's your fault. That you are crippled. Uh, Is something mentally or spiritually wrong with you. Because you're crippled. Or let's say you were born. uh, A severe anemic. Well it's your fault. Is something wrong with you. You're not dealing with this. So you're born anemic. All of that is bull. According to all scriptures of the world. And when you go study around the world, you will understand that some things are brought into this universe as a testimony before the elders and God Almighty. It's no fault of your own. It's not because you evil or because you think like this or think like that. That's another form of brainwashing propaganda. Only those who don't have a strong spirit and have their roots in the tree of life grounded knows that that's not of God and that's carrying whispers. I call it whispers. I am so grateful that God Almighty the creator, the absolute creator, have given this vessel the tools to overlook many of those things. I don't have sympathy for the wicked. I don't claim the wicked no matter what physical race 